Now this section, this video is about, well, is going to introduce the idea behind plotting, okay? Um, and basically this is going to be using MATLAB to visualize data, okay? MATLAB is quite powerful, producing both 2D and 3D plots, okay? And it allows two methods to produce them, okay? We can use the command line to enter commands, um, or, or there is an interactive tool um, which you can which you can use to generate plots as well. Um, but we're gonna and, and in this but in these uh, in this um, in these notes and in this uh, in this module uh, we're going to concentrate primarily on the more standard method which is using commands okay because that really gives, sort of helps us understand what's going on and uh, we're going to focus also on two D plots three D plots are um, you know they're, they're obviously more complicated um, they're beyond the scope of this module at this point in time but I'll show you a few three D plots later on as a sort of demonstrations of what um, MATLAB can do. Now, these sorts of plots, they obviously, you know, they, um, they are useful to include in things like reports and such and so on and so forth. And so what you can do with these plots is you can export them as a, as a, um, a PDF document or JPEG or whatever for you to paste into uh, you know, a Word document to make a report or, or uh, some other package that you use to write, write things, okay? Now, the, the, um, the commands I'm going to do, I'm going to enter them in, in the command window. Um, but clearly, you can also include them in a script if you want to rerun the same sort of commands. Um, and I might do a bit of both um, as we as we work through these things. So let's uh, let's let's do it in the command window to start with. So I'm going to close that up. Okay, that's my command window, and I'll clear the screen so we've got something clear. Um, clear, and I'm also going to clear all our data. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to start from start from scratch. And let's think about um, what we do to plot. Now, obviously, when we're when we're looking at data, obviously there's generally going to be two dimensions. You know, you're going to plot one thing against another, and the typical example would be plotting x against y, where y is a function of x, and x is your independent variable. Okay, and they there, and these in MATLAB, these would normally be vectors containing um, x and y coordinates of, of the data to be plotted. Now, let's think firstly about a straight line plot. A straight line, we know the, the equation for a straight line is y equals mx plus c, where m is the slope and c is the y-intercept. So we're going to do um, a very simple plot. Okay, we're going to, um, we need to, we're going to define x to be minus 5, um, let's go for 0.1 and 5, say. Okay, and we're going to say y equals mx, m times x, or um, 2 x, to m is, is 2, okay. Okay, plus five. Okay, there's our uh, x and y commands. So now notice we've got two vectors in the workspace of 101 in length. And to get a plot, we simply type plot x comma y. Okay, and it'll bring up a new window with a plot in of our straight line. Okay, so you can see that we've got a straight line here, um, and we've got our uh, uh, it's our range of data starts at minus five goes to 5, so that's our x coordinate, and then in the y coordinate we've got our, our straight line defined by 2x plus 5. And so you can see um, there's our x data, minus 5 and 5, with an increment of 0.1, which is the independent uh, variable, okay? Um, and then uh, we've got our uh, vector containing y, which is obviously um, going to be the y-axis, and then um, you plot, run the plot command, okay, which obviously plots this window. Now, to help work out what's going on, it's often useful to actually turn the grid on. So we just type grid on, okay, and then if we go back to the window, you can see we've now got a little grid in the background. So we can actually look at what, you know, where, where's the y-intercept? There's, there's clearly 5 here, okay, and the slope, which is rise over run, so we've got 5 in a distance of uh, 2.5, so we can see that quite clearly that our slope is, is going to be 2, okay? So you should have something... Um, look, looks like this if you run those commands. Now let's try um, a parabola. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to redefine y. I'm going to keep the range of x to be the same, but I'm going to re redefine y. I'm going to call it x um, squared minus 5. Let's go for that one, shall we? Okay, so I could put the dot in to um, do piecewise. Um, uh, 
squaring, okay, which we need to do, otherwise we're just squaring a vector. Um, and then we're going to move on the plot command, okay. So again, there we are with our plot, and I'll turn the grid back on, okay. And um, there's our parabola, okay. So you can see that we get, so we didn't we have to redefine x. We've got the same range from minus five to five, but now our plot, our y data, is now following a different equation. It's following the x squared minus five term. So clearly, when x is zero, we're going to have a value of minus five, which is down here. Okay, and obviously it's a vertical parabola or sort of upright parabola because x, the coefficient in front of the x squared term, is positive. Okay, and um, and uh, yeah, and we needed to place a full stop ahead of this, but because we're um, we were square, we want to do a piecewise squaring of each value of x rather than squaring the vector as a as a separate thing. Okay.